Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a physique update of nobody else but Phil Heat. Yep, that's right, that's an interesting one. The truth is, we didn't really see much of Phil since he competed last in 2020. He took a break a year before that year, 2019 that was a break for him. 2018 he lost. Seven years before that he won all the Mr. Olympias. 2021 he also skipped that Mr. Olympia. Does that mean he will compete again? It's highly unlikely, guys. I mean, this is the last time he competed and he he didn't look at his best. So he was third. That wasn't exactly what he was planning, what he had in mind. To be beaten by not only Mr. Olympia, but by the runner-up as well. For his standards, for field heat standards, seven times champ. It certainly must have been a huge blow for him and also probably the last nail in the coffin of Phil Heath's bodybuilding competitive career. So I don't think we'll see him on stage again, but what does he look like right now? He looks good, he looks great, but is it just me or his right bicep seems a little bit flatter? Look, I mean, it's Phil Heath, the best times in the history of bodybuilding, probably, top three at least. So when he does, when he hits a front double bicep, you expect something extraordinary. Granted, he's more tricep dominant, his arms are looking better in the most muscular side chest when he puts them down. But even lifted up in the front double bicep, they looked really good, they looked good. Now, I mean, yeah, they're looking great for a retired bodybuilder, but for a Mr. Olympia, uh, I don't know, I don't know, that right bicep is definitely suspicious to me. It looks like it maybe atrophied a little, maybe. Also like the neck size and the lats as well. He's just the mass of his torso, the mass of his entire body. Everything aside from forearms and triceps probably. Shoulders maybe even a little bit too. I don't know about the chest and the back, we cannot see that. I don't know how flat his stomach is. He was working on it actively. He was showing some photos uh, of, of an ab check. And his stomach did look much flatter at some point. Maybe it got smaller because he downsized. So it's really hard to tell when somebody is arm dominant and when they have a good pump. It's really hard to tell. But even before 2020, uh, Mr. Olympia, he looked much smaller than he looked on the stage. So if he decided to compete again, he would definitely be able to, to bring all the size back. But, I mean, I stopped here, I stopped the video here because in this pose, in this most muscular variation of pose, he doesn't really look downsized. I mean, he looks big, right? Delts, arms, forearms, he simply overall doesn't look very small here. He looks like somebody who decided to take some time off and somebody who might, just might, come back bigger and better than ever. He looks fresh, he looks healthy, and I don't really see any bulge on his midsection area, so maybe he actually did manage to, to, to fix that gut problem that he had. Anyways, he does look pretty big in this, in this pose, and in the other poses that he does as well, yeah, he looks bigger, bigger than the front double bicep. So here you can see, he doesn't look small, look at the right arm right there, the tricep, when he walks, he is big, he has big arms. So, yeah, look at the tricep right here. Look at the chunks of meat just hanging there. So, his arms are still definitely very big. And overall, I mean, he didn't really lose a lot of size. I don't know how hard he's training, what kind of gear he's using. I don't know any of that. And I probably won't ever know. He never talked about all that stuff. He never goes into details. But just, just observation based on his look right here. Does he look like he can't compete anymore? No. In that frontable bicep, he's... Right bicep seems a little bit smaller, but it could be just the angle, he didn't maybe flex it properly. Overall, does he have a lot of mass, enough mass, to come back once again next year the Mr. Olympia or the Arnold or Atleticon, perhaps? Maybe that's the plan, I think that's the most realistic plan if you're talking about the future competitions. If we're ever gonna see Phil Heat on bodybuilding stage, my guess would be that that would happen on an Atleticon stage. What do you guys think? Hey, there is still a lot of time until the Athletic One and the Mr. Olympia. It's gonna be in the later part of next year. But at the beginning of the year, in 12 weeks from now, we have Arnold Classic. Arnold Classic Ohio, the second biggest show in the world currently. And Brett Wilkin is doing it. 
He's 12 weeks out, as he says, out of Arnold Classic Sports Festival. And guys, as for now, from all the competitors that I know will be competing, I think Brad Wilkin has the biggest chance to win that show. Yep, I think it's going to be between him and Bonek, and I think Brad is going to surpass Bonek this year. Yeah, I think so. It might be bold, but guys, think about it. I think it's pretty rational. So last year, yeah, he competed only once. And he was the runner-up. He was second, right after Hunter Labrada at a Chicago Pro 2020. It was close, guys. It was close. If Brad Wilkin won that day, nobody would argue. I think everybody would be happy with that. I think it was very, very close. I think, yeah, it, it, it probably had to do with the name. I'm not saying that he was robbed or anything, no, 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 I'm just saying it was very close, but what happened later in the year, Hunter was fourth at the Mr. Olympia, right, and he was better than Bonek, not by one spot, but by two spots, he was beaten by Nick Walker as well, so Bonek is not qualified for the Mr. Olympia, he will have to compete, and I think he will do the Arnold Classic, if he does the Arnold Classic, he better bring his best of all time. Because Brett Wilkin, with this shape, beats William Bonek's last edition, which is Mr. Olympia 2021. Now, William Bonek, I mean, he's older, so he probably can't really make that much progress. I think he sort of maxed out his physique. He, it's gonna be hard for him to bring, again, the fullness and conditioning to improve on that. But Brett, he's young. He's young, he's up and coming. And he's hungry as hell. He did one show. He did so well. He's motivated. He's driven. And he had a good off season. He got huge. He ate like a maniac. I watched him on a podcast. I follow him on IG. On YouTube as well. I know how devoted this guy is. And he's one of those monsters. In that sense. That he does everything like a maniac. He eats like a maniac. He trains like a maniac. He does everything. And I am sure that he will be making progress this year. And I think at the Arnold Classic, he will be much better than he was at the Chicago. I'm just not sure. Can he really nail it again this time around? I mean, at the Chicago Pro, he pretty much nailed it perfectly. This was, this was a perfect pick. His body picked so well. Can he really nail it again? Was it luck? This was a first pro show that him and, and Matt Jensen did. And uh, as usual, Matt Jensen really nailed it really nailed it so he was spot on he was as big as full as dry as possible this was his absolute maximum so if he improves if he grows a little bit more if he fills up and i'm sure he will do that i'm sure he already has done that but he will reveal that once he trims all the body fat down i'm just wondering can he really bring the fullness can he really fill up the, mu the muscle with the glycogen can he really uh, lose all the subcutaneous water at the same time and lose all the fat and, and everything? If everything clicks, if everything works perfectly again, I would say the chances are not exactly in his favor because you don't nail your perfect conditioning uh, multiple times in your career. It doesn't happen very often. It might happen that he actually improves, but this was pretty much as good as it gets. So he was really spot on at this show. Uh, once again, if he improves a little bit, and if he brings good conditioning, if he picks just fine, if he doesn't mess it up, I'll put it simply, if he doesn't mess it up, if he comes on, he has a legitimate chance of winning the Arnold Classic, which would be huge, it would be a huge upset, it would mean that Brad Wilkin is one of the top bodybuilders in the world right now. Who else I think should definitely do this show, Arnold Classic? I think that's James Hollingshead. I think that's him because he he failed. He failed Mr. Olympia. And I don't think he's that bad. I think I still believe in this guy. I think he's a monster. He is, obviously. Look at this guy. He has so much dense muscle. He has a good shape. Yeah, everybody has flaws, but this guy has more strong points than flaws. And if he finally nails it, like Brett did, I think that's the only issue. If he does that, he can do really well at the Arnold Classic. Again, another guy who... I don't think he can win against Brad, for example. I think Brad is just more complete. But if, if James really brought it, if he came full like a house, and with the size that he has, because this guy is really big, he is really, really big. If he brings everything spot on, he has a good chance, you know. He, he, he can fight for the title. He can be in top three. 
I can see that. He is better than he was at the Mr. Olympia last this year actually. So he needs to he needs to do some proving. He needs to prove us all wrong. He needs to prove us that he is better than he was at his last show. And you're only as good as your last show, and his last show was Mr. Olympia. So does he really want us to remember him that way? I'm sure he doesn't. I mean he talked openly about what happened. Why did he look that bad at the Mr. Olympia? And he said that he was chasing the conditioning. And he noticed that he was starting to fade, that he was starting to lose fullness, lose size. And he never really talked to his coach about it and they didn't really catch it. In the, in the final two weeks, he lost a lot of volume and he was never able to fill up properly. He lost some tissue. Now, apparently, obviously, he got it back. So I think it's, it's time. I think maybe like, I mean, this guy is shredded still. So like, here's another week or two and start prepping. Maybe he's already planning that. Maybe that's why he stayed so shredded. Look at him. Look at about 5%. I mean, look at the veins and the thin skin in his mid-quad area. Also, like, the shoulders are very vascular. The, the stomach looks... Like, the, the skin looks very thin. He looks like he's in condition. And he looks big and full. So, maybe just <laughs> a few more body fat percents down from this state. You know? Uh, maybe some, some hardening agents. And diuretic, I don't know, I'm guessing something like that. And he's ready, like, to, to rock the Arnold Classic stage. What do you guys think about James? Tell me in the comment section down below. Alright, it seems like the four times men's physique champion, Mr. Olympia champion, Jeremy Buendia is back. He had some injuries, he had a, a pack tear, and there were a couple of incidents in his life. And let's not talk about all that drama. What is important here is that he didn't really train, he didn't really focus on himself for a while he kind of let go of himself for some time but he's back he's back i mean physique wise i'm not saying he's back competition wise i don't know what his plans are he talked uh, about uh, classic physique a couple of times he never really shared any plans with us he never really committed to anything but the way he's posing i mean he's not posing like a man's physique guy anymore he's posing like a bodybuilder and if he wants to do a bodybuilding show then he should do a classic physique show uh, would they invite him to do the Mr. Olympia in Classic Physique if he wanted to? I mean, he is a Mr. Olympia four times in a row in Man's Physique. Maybe they should, but maybe because he wasn't active in the past couple of years, maybe they shouldn't because of that, because you don't know how well will he look on stage. I think, in my opinion, I would just let him compete and qualify if he wanted to do the Classic. But uh, I don't know if he wants to compete anymore. Uh, he, he is obviously on gear, back on gear, yeah. Yeah, definitely. He's back on gear, on hard training. I don't know if he talked about compounds, or what, what, what compounds he's using. If I remember correctly, when he started this transformation, he said that he was on no anabolics. And I don't know if he filled a scene about his uh, gear plan, but uh, he, he definitely looks like he's on something. And he looks big, he looks shredded, he looks lean enough to do a show sometime soon. Once again, I have no idea what his plans are, whether he's gonna compete or not. But I think he should, and I think he looks like he could. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye bye.